Johann Brineel. Johann Brineel, born 23 August 1964, is a Belgian former professional road bicycle racer and a former Duratour sportive for UCI Pro Tour Team Radio Shack Nissen and U.S. Postal Service, later known as Discovery Channel, a U.S.-based UCI Pro Tour cycling team. On October 25, 2018, the World Anti-Doping Agency imposed a lifetime ban on Brineel for his role in a doping scandal that also saw Lance Armstrong stripped of his seven Tour de France titles. History Professional Cyclist Born in Eisgem, Belgium, Brineel was a successful professional cyclist. Early wins included the 1992 Erdit Alevnir, the 1991 Rundum den Henninger Term, the 1992 Grand Prix Destinations and Kappa Plachi, and staged six of Uke's Amiens, and finishing seventh at the 1993 Tour de France. His stage win set the record for fastest stage at 49.417 km slash H, since then only broken by two cyclists. His greatest successes as a pro cyclist came in 1995. At the 1995 Tour de France, he won stage seven, which began in Charleroi and ended in Liege, Belgium, and took the yellow jersey in his home country. Reine launched an escape and was joined by eventual winner Miel in Durain. The Spaniard took the lead and rode the stage as a time trial to gain time on his main rivals, with Brineal latched onto his wheel, barely able to follow the tempo. He then beat Indurain in the end sprint to win the stage. Brineal admitted he felt somewhat uneasy about how he had won. However, the win into Liege afforded him a chance meeting with the King of Belgium during the prize presentations. That same year, Brineal achieved his only podium finish in a Grand Tour when he finished third at the 1995 Buell to Espana and won the Alst Criterium. In the 1996 Tour de France, he missed a curve when descending a hill in stage seven chambery Les Arcs and disappeared into a ravine. The moment was captured by a camera team that was driving right behind the group of descenders. After some time, Brineal could be seen climbing out of the ravine and getting back onto his bike to continue the stage, apparently unscathed. Team Director Following his retirement from cycling in 1998 at age 34, Brineal accepted the position of Managing Director of the U.S. Postal Service cycling team, whose star, Lance Armstrong, had finished fourth in the 1998 Vuelta Espana, but whose team in Armstrong's words, was the bad news bears a mismatch of bodies. Brineal's team promptly won eight of the next nine editions of the Tour de France, with Armstrong winning seven straight prior to his retirement in 2005, and then Alberto Contador winning in 2007, with Levy Lefamer finishing third. However, Discovery Channel, which had taken over as the sponsor of the team in 2005, decided to withdraw in 2007 in the wake of the sport's extensive doping scandals, and the team disbanded. At that point, Brineal's teams had won 10 Grand Tour championships in nine years, eight Tours de France, one Giro d'Italia Sable Dulli, 2005, and one Vuel to Espana Jerez, 2003. Seven of these victories have since been nullified with the disqualification of Lance Armstrong from 1999 to 2005 from the Tour de France by Usada with ratification from the UCI. UCI. At the time, Brineal announced his retirement and his plans to write a book. Brineal's book, We Might As Well Win, was published by Houghton Mifflin on 4 June 2008. Also on 29 May 2008, Brineal joined the board of directors of World Bicycle Relief. But his retirement did not materialize. In October 2007, after negotiations with the Kazakh government, Brineal was signed to take over control of the embattled Astana team, which had been kicked out of the 2007 Tour de France for doping violations and was in shambles over its doping connections. He brought Discovery's Contador and Lefamer with him for the 2008 season. Although the team was banned from the Tour de France for its past doping history, 
Contano won both the 2008 Giro d'Italia and the 2008 Buell to Espana, making Contano the youngest rider to win all three Grand Tour championships. Additionally, Lefamer finished second at the Vuelta. Contador's victory in the Tour de France meant that Brineal had won four of the last six Grand Tours that his teams entered, and 13 Grand Tour championships in 11 years. Seven of these victories have since been nullified, with the disqualification of Lance Armstrong from 1999. In 2010, Team Radio Shack was formed with sponsorship from Radio Shack and Trek Bicycle Corporation. Reinil confirmed his departure from Astana at the end of the 2009 season to join Team Radio Shack. Conviction for Doping As of May 2010, he was under investigation by the Belgian Cycling Federation, after being accused by Floyd Landis of involvement. On 28 June 2012, Reinil was accused by USADA United States Anti-Doping Agency, although he is not an American citizen. Allegations include the assumption that Brineal was part of a long-running doping conspiracy, including the use of banned methods to augment the performance of the cycling teams that he directed. As a result of the allegations, Brineal declined to appear at the 2012 Tour de France, where he had been expected to direct the Radio Shack Nissan team. While some accused in this case, such as Lance Armstrong and Michel Ferrari did not seek to formally contest the charges via arbitration, Brineal asked for an arbitration hearing. In October 2012, while still waiting for his hearing, Brineal left his position as managing director of Radio Shack Nissen shortly after documents from the Uzada case were released to the public. The termination was by mutual agreement with owners of Leopard SA. The day after Armstrong's acknowledgement that he doped during all of his tours, Brineal announced that he would be in Brussels as soon as possible to speak to the Belgian National Cycling Organization and cooperate with its investigation. In November 2013, Armstrong settled a lawsuit with acceptance insurance company ASC. ASC had sought to recover $3 million it had paid Armstrong as bonuses for winning the Tour de France from 1999. The suit was settled for an undisclosed sum the day before Armstrong was scheduled to give an oral deposition under oath. In a written deposition for the lawsuit, Armstrong stated under oath that Johan Brineal participated in or assisted with Armstrong's use of PD and knew of that use through their conversations and acts. In April 2014, Brineal was given a 10-year ban by Uzada, who noted that the evidence establishes conclusively. Said Brineal about the ban, I do not dispute that there are certain elements of my career that I wish had been different. However, a very small minority of us has been used as scapegoats for an entire generation. In October 2018, the World Anti-Doping Agency successfully increased his 10-year ban to a lifetime ban. Palmares, as writer, Grand Tour General Classification Results Timeline Did not finish equals DNF in progress equals IP voided results equals struck through. As director, Giro d'Italia 2 winner of the general classification with Paolo Sable Dully in 2005, Tours de France 2 winner of the general classification with Alberto Contador in 2007 and 2009. Lance Armstrong was disqualified from seven Tour de France victories directed by Brineal. Vuel to Espana II, winner of the general classification with Roberto Hiras in 2003 and with Alberto Contador in 2008. Written work We might as well win, on the road, to success with the mastermind behind a record-setting eight Tour de France victories. ISBN 0 minus 618 minus 87,937 minus 4.